So let me explain why Donald Trump cannot win the state of Arizona, especially without winning Maricopa County. In order to win the state of Arizona, any candidate, every candidate must win Maricopa County because it's the population center. Most people in this state reside within the Valley of the Sun in Maricopa County, Phoenix being the largest of them, which is in the center of all of those cities that surround us. Now, in my lifetime, I watched this city grow. I was born in 1975 and I watched the Valley of the Sun grow to what we see today. Everywhere you go, there are cranes and skyscrapers going up, Tempe, Phoenix, just all over. Not only that, but there are all of these new residential developments, plus all of these corporations and tech and tech companies coming here due to our tax, our tax laws, which are favorable to business. Now, when you drive out into the East Valley, because I used to drive out, we used to go out to my dad's, used to live on 76th and Sossaman, which is in East Mesa at the Apache Junk Mesa Apache Junction borderline. And and going out there, it would be fields, Chandler, Gilbert, Mesa, all this would be nothing but rural area. Whereas now when you go down the 60, it's all developed all the way long past there, going into Apache Junction. There's not so much rural area here anymore. Not not from from, from Phoenix to, to the East Valley. There's not, and even going into the West Valley, you have to go deep West Valley in order to get into those rural areas. You know, going Goodyear, Tonopah, you know, that way West, that far West into the county. But that being said, the urban sprawl and the growth of this county has altered the demographics. It has drastically changed the demographics of this county which has all turned more independent. There's a lot more independent voters here than there is of, of the others because a lot of people coming here are registering that way. And then you have a lot of people here from here that, it, that have changed one way or another from, from either Democrat to or Republican to independent. There's a, there's a shifting in demographics here. You have a far more divert, diverse culture here diverse community, which comes from all over the world. Because of these technological advances that we're having here and all of these companies coming here, coupled with our major universities, you have, you have a far more intellectual and intelligent uh, community who is more inclined to really consider their vote and really think about and, and analyze these candidates before they pick votes. Now, something that must be noted is that Republicans don't win university towns. University towns typically vote blue. And the reason being is because of that, the, the intellectuals that are there. It's a known fact that certain, certain party has preyed upon has preyed upon the lack of education of its own supporters and they have kept them in the dark. They have kept them undereducated. They have kept them without Wi-Fi. Basic things. When this is who's represented these people and they wanna, they wanna act as if those, they're not responsible for getting what needs to be done in those communities. But those people have seen no advances. Certain places in the, in the United States that are just straight mining towns and are known for these things in that state. There's no other industry but mining or any particular one, one particular uh, uh, business there, you know. Whereas here you see great growth. Now, as it pertains to the universities, this county, the Valley of the Sun is a university. It's, it's basically university now. Phoenix, Arizona has all of Arizona's major universities plus uh, junior colleges and colleges just spread out. And that you see throughout the valley. You see it, you see it, you see it spread throughout. So this, so this county itself is a university county. 
that is not inclined to sit there and vote down a party line. That just speaks to, to the demographics that have changed against Donald Trump. Now I wanna note one thing. When Barack Obama, since, since, since this county's changed since the 1960s, there's only been twice that Arizona's voted blue in a president for president. Memory serves me correctly, it was blue, Bill Clinton and, and recently Joe Biden. But if you go back to to Obama's to Obama's first first term in office, he ran against Senator John McCain. And during that race, Barack Obama changed this county purple. He changed this state purple. He got within the margin. Now it's blue. It went red for Trump. But that was a that was a party line vote, and and the Republicans still had certain controls here. But since then, there's been just since then, there's been a drastic change here that doesn't favor those politics, and they know it. That's why the one thing about the Republican Party in the state of Arizona, as coalesced as they are, they're intellectuals. A lot of them are moderates. You know, they have their principles that they stand on. They're, they're, they're true conservative principles. Like those real conservatives. Not like a fake conservative in Donald Trump. Who's a liberal, Democrat, and all these other things. New Yorker and everything about him proves that. But he could never win... As, as a Democrat, he can never win that progressive vote because he's regressive. He's digressive. He thinks backwards. The Republicans here don't look, think backwards. Even in their conservative ideals and beliefs, they think forward. You have Republicans here who are visionaries, which makes them progressive. You see, the term progress, progressive has been, has been labeled loosely. Now, any progression is, 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 is momentum moving forward, which is always in the best interest of people to move forward in life. Now, the state of Arizona would never allow itself as a whole to progress off of a cliff. No, we're sensible here. That's on, that's on all sides of the aisle. You have people that are sensible. They really consider the issues and they debate and they discuss them to seek solutions to our problems here. We're different than all the rest. I myself don't vote. I've never had the right to vote in my life because at the age of 15 years old, I was convicted of a felony, multiple felonies, and I've never had my rights since. Now, I always say the day comes I get my, my right to vote back, I will, I will register independent because I'm not one who's going to vote down a party line. I'm going to pick each candidate that's appropriate for that position that they're applying for in their election. They're, they're, they're running in a particular district or whatever. I'm going to consider the needs of them because I'm not just going to do this. If I don't agree with either or, whoever's being presented, whether that person's an independent or not, if I don't agree with that, them two candidates or whatever candidates in that position, I'm going to write in. I'm going to write in. I'm going to write in my dead father. That's what I'm going to do. Put my name on the ballot. But I'm not going to go pick just anybody because I'm partial in my politics and I'm selective in that re in regard, that I'm just a blind follower of the blind who's gonna believe whatever I'm told, no. Just like most Arizonans, I have sense to think for myself and to really analyze what this candidate is proposing. 
Now, when you're proposing the stripping of a woman's rights to choose for herself, you're, you're stripping me of my right to choose for myself as well. It's a right of privacy issue. In the greater context, when it comes to certain issues, especially women's reproductive rights, their right to choose, women's lives are in danger. Little girls are being put at risk and being forced, compelled to have children that are not their own, that were forced upon them. And this is, and this is, what, this is what they want to take us back to. There is nothing good in our in our history here in America. The only good that can be spoken of in regards to this nation is how it's progressed to this point in this day and age. But we don't have to ride at the back of the bus. We can drink from the same water fountains. We can marry whoever. That's freedom. That's liberty. That's justice. Now, do I... Do I can condone a lot of these actions? No, I don't. But I condone people's free will to choose for themselves. No one should be restrained from the choices of life themselves and to make decisions that make sense for them so that they can live the best life that they can. But to, but to strip that away? And for what? So that a convicted felon could hold on to power when he tried to overthrow our last election and was willing to send stormtroopers into the Capitol to take it by force, what good can come from that? When women and children are suffering at the hands of this tyrant, but this is about the state of Arizona and how the state of Arizona will vote. And I'm certain to see this state turn blue and stay blue. But in turning blue, let's not confuse something here. Arizona's gonna be a purple state. It may, it may vote blue in the presidency, but it's a purple state because it's gonna stay centrist because our, we're never gonna progress past our people here that we're forgetting some and that we're alienating any. That's not the state of our union here in Arizona. We have a lot of problems our own that are unique to this state. We have a serious problem with police brutality, cop-involved shootings and killings. We have a serious problem with kidnapping, drug trafficking. We have a serious problem with the sex trade, sex slaves. And these things must be addressed. We can't live in a lawless state lest anarchy and chaos rule. And I'm going to leave you with that. Peace! And I'm out.